Hey guys, this is TechX, and if you guys have seen a couple of my past videos before, you probably recognize this, the Walkera G2D Gimbal. I'm going to show you why in just a couple seconds, why I really don't like it that much. So, when we're looking at this, it the gimbal itself is it's a it's a really nice gimbal. So, the electronics on board, the motors and everything, there it it comes together to create such a it's a, a very stabilized image or video when you're on your drone. Especially, uh, this works especially well for the, the drones that it isn't even it isn't entirely meant for. So, like when you open it up, you get you get this this mounting system that's got this weird arm that sticks down from the top it's it's really annoying and so you end up adding this you end up adding this whole extra layer all this extra weight that you don't need and I have found for some reason that the the vibration pads don't work too well so in order to solve my weight problems and just the fact that it was um, on the quad that I have it on it just didn't it just didn't work it by adding more vibration actually because it was lower I decided to make my own, well, 3D print my own mount. So I have the MJX Bugs 3. And this this quad is like, it's an awesome quad. And it works if you wanted to mount, say, those, the, the, original, the original style um, gimbal, it works really well. But if you want to mount it on this, it, it, it hangs too low. So in order to fix that, again, I got rid of all this, and I made, I 3D printed just this little bracket right in the back here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. This this thing right here, so this basically eliminates the entire mounting system here. So I'll provide the link in the description. I did not make this, just a disclaimer, I did not make this myself. This was created by somebody else. Um, and it, it, this is like one of the one of the best things I've 3D printed so far because of how useful it is. So after after being able after printing this, I'm able to now I'm able to now put this on almost any type of any type of mount. So say if I want to use this gimbal for my drone, all I have to do is just put a um, GoPro mount on the bottom, and boom, there we go, slide it in. Now say if I want to use it for handheld, boom. Just put a GoPro mount on this. Now I've got a handheld gimbal. Now it is only uh, two axis, but still the fact that it's the fact that we can get something so high quality on such a su something that we can edit and work with so easily is is awesome. So um, again, I'll provide the link for this this 3D printed um, this 3D printed bracket. Basically, all you have to do is you're going to take... The, so, all you have to do is there's just these little sides here that you pop off. And then you're able to access the wires inside going down to the motor. And then you have to take out, I believe, um, two, two screws to take... Or one, excuse me, one screw to take out the motor. And then that just, that just the motor just slides out. And then you can disconnect... Um, then you can disconnect the main circuit board or the main control board here from the disconnect the main main control board here from the from the the rest of the frame and then all you have to do is just make sure you don't bend the wires too much that's why I've got this heat shrink here hopefully you guys can see it then that just keeps the wires from excuse me the wires from breaking um, and then now you have this modular mounting system I printed this 3D piece, this 3D piece in ABS, and then just ABS smoothed it just just lightly, just to keep all the parts intact. And that's pretty much it. You guys are probably asking at this time, how how good can this be? Like, if we if you're eliminating these vibration pads here, that why how can how can that be good because you're probably just gonna end up making it look worse well I disagree for me 
having it hang so low made it actually it made the wind from the props uh, shake it around a lot more. So all that I, all that I did here, I just took it, and since I've as long as you've got a stable GoPro mount, then you should be good for the most part. And if I'll also include the link for it, what I have as well. It's a very cheap stabilization um, software package. It's editing and everything into Movavi Drone Suite. Um, but if you download that, that's got a great, a great um, stabilization software in it. And if you have any extra wobble at all from the from the the drone, then you can just easily eliminate that in the stabilization. So now I want to show you guys an example of this down in super. Uh, I don't exactly know the miles per hour, the exact miles per hour. But I want to show you this in high winds. So, cut to a short story.